Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, Albie, and we back with another video, bro. In today's video, we got a new One Piece. I said One Piece. One Piece slash Jujutsu Kaisen mashup. Like, it's just both of them in just one. So, we're going to go ahead, go through it. Um, and should I leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's going to be a guide for y'all. I've already played it. The game, I mean, if I had to give it a rating, I'd have to give the game a... Uh, a calm 7 out of 10 only because there's a lot of bugs besides that the game you know they have a very cool concept and if you think about like if they remove all the bugs and if they do it right this could be a pretty decent game and it could go very far if they do it right if they update on time and if they remove all the bugs so that's all, that's all i'm gonna complain about everything else is pretty pretty fire I mean, most skills don't don't they don't look bad so when you when you get into the game you get play spins guides and these are like their little bundles and stuff to make their you know their revenue and when you come over here, you get spins. So, as you can see, I got Sotaro. I got Dumb Lucky. I ain't gonna lie. I got it on my last spin. As you see, zero spins here. Last spin. And I got Sotaro. So, I was happy with that. And over here, I got Mink. I really want a Devil. But, you know, you can't get you, can, you can't get everything. You can't get everything. We're just gonna leave it at that. We ain't gonna need to touch these. Nope. And then once you're done doing whatever you got to do on the main screen, I probably, you know, you don't even need to enable fast mode unless you really want to. Because the game's not la the game is not like laggy. It's like the NPCs are just bugged. Like, look at this. <clears throat> They're bugged. They stand in place and they don't like really like do much. But once you arrive here, right, if let's say you forgot to spin your clan or whatever, you turn over here, you talk to this guy. Um... You can and you can spin and you can spin for your clan here. Also, and sometimes if you join the game, it would say you don't have it, or like it would just say human and whatever, um, common clan. Just click on your stats, click on profile, and it'll tell you what clan you're a part of, what ability you're using, and you know, race. Once you come over here, you get um, this is where you upgrade your character. Once you reach a certain level, it'll tell you the items that you need, broken glasses, 10 golden buttons, and you know, etc. It's 60, level 60, to upgrade yourself. It says upgrade fail because I don't have the requirements to upgrade myself. And where you know what grade you are is right here. I'm, I have one out of seven, so I haven't upgraded my grade at all. Now, I don't know what upgrading your grades do, but yeah, no. Um, we have the first katana shop guy right here, and also, for people that are wondering so when you start the game this will be the first npc you go to you'll see like a scroll like that you see how this scroll appears right here and you see how it's saying 2000 some meters it'll let you know what quest you have to go to so after you're done beating this for a while then you can move on to the next scroll show you where it is and then the next one and the next one etc and i'm probably wondering wait how do i find out that like yo when i'm supposed to leave the island cool it's all right you just click on this right here and then you click track. This is the island I'm on. I'm I'm on right now. So, you know, you go over there. I wouldn't even say use the boat because the boats are pretty garbage. I'm not gonna cap. You know, the boats are pretty garbage, and this guy don't work. I don't know what he's supposed to do. But let me see. Yeah, it's like the boats are really garbage. He only gets like one boat. You're best off just like literally just gliding across the water. Be honest with you. Save yourself a lot of time. They need to, you know, add different boats and, you know, increase the speed on that. Or if anything, just add, like, mounts. Who, who knows? Something something that allows you to fly. But, yeah. I think that's about it, right? That's about that's about it. Um, oh, fighting styles. We have... These are, like, paid access fighting styles, you know. All these... Are, this is, like, paid access to with Toji version. You come over here, you can spin for your fighting style. Lucky Sorcerer. You can spin with like 200 cash for a fighting style. You can get Vessel. Vessel being, you know, the rarest one. So 2%. 2% chance to get lim <clears throat> Limitless. So 4% chance to get, you know, etc, etc. And then you get your skill tree. I said not skill tree. You get um, all the stuff that you can cop in here. You got blood, straw, dog, curse, speed, construction, gamblings. 
And you got Limitless, and then you got Vessel. Vessel being like the rarest and the most expensive. Now, I don't know which one is better, but I'll make a whole video about that in the description down below. And this is for the fruits that you can get in the game. We got Light, Ice, Magu, they got Rubber, um, Smoke, Bomb. It's not bad. It's pretty it's a decent amount of abilities in the game. If you want to go One Piece or if you want to go Jujutsu Kaisen, you can. So, like, this world is like fused with both of them. They have, they've done like a pretty decent job. They've done a pretty decent job. So, yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty shocked that somebody even thought about fusing the two. You know, it's a different, it's a different, it's different. I'll say that. It's different. I've never seen it done. But yeah, I think that's about it for, you know, lo um, for this guide. And whenever you go to a new island, you always got to go set your point. It doesn't automatically set like some some games. Yeah. And then you get like Dead Frost. These are like fighting styles that you can learn. There's a lot of fighting styles in this game. I like a lot. It's ridiculous. You can just go around searching for them and stuff like that. Let me see. I feel like I'm missing something. Inventory items, they drop from bosses and NPCs. Certain items like this, they'll drop from NPCs. They'll have a percentage, or like a chance to drop. Um, What else? I think that's about it. That's about everything. Stat points, I would, I mean, I'm not really max level enough to tell y'all exactly where to put y'all stat points. I'm going to play around with that and make a video for y'all. But I'm going to end my video off here, bro. Brush your heads. Take care. Catch you on the next video. And for those of y'all that are saying, yo, bro, why are you even... I, I don't know. I feel like some of y'all going to be like, yeah, this. I've tried the game. The game's all right. Don't, yeah, don't post about it. I don't know. I think the game's okay. You know, they just got to fix the bugs. Without the, besides the NPCs walking away from you and some of the bosses not actually using their skills, which I'm taking, a, which I'm taking advantage of right now. You feel me? I'm taking advantage of the fact that these bosses dead ass not moving so for me it's letting me know that i can level up a little bit easier but bro and i've only been on the game for two hours trust me because this two times xp thing started when i got the the deal so brush your heads take care bro catch on the next video eek is out